Hi. 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 This is my first blog. Ray. It is. It's my. It's mum. It's mummy's first blog. It's vlog. Sorry, with a V. Say vlog. 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 Say <laughs> vlog, Terrell. My name is Simone, and I'm 33. My mother of three. Mom, mother of three. And pregnant with baby number four. Wow. Well, yeah. Yay. Yeah. Our eldest Rael is at school. She's 14. This wow. is... <coughs> Say your name. Say, my name is... <coughs> Roxy. Roxy. And Roxy, how old are you? Two. Two. And this is Terrell. Say, my name is Terrell. And I am one. Rao? Rao, and I am one. <laughs> no, no, my mum says because there were no mama there. Yes, that is your third birthday, November the 1st, you're right. Yeah. But, excuse me, this is my vlog, not use twos, okay? Right. <laughs> Mummy is in her... Well, you sit here next to me. Mummy is in her um, week 14 today. Week 14. Week 14. Week 14. Week 14. And how's mummy feeling this week? I feel so much more energised this week. When I wake up in the morning, before, I couldn't get out of bed. I actually couldn't get out of bed. I'd literally have to roll out of the bed. I didn't suffer with much sickness or anything like that. Just on odd occasions. But it was more just pregnancy fatigue, as they like to call it. I was absolutely shattered. I had a few tips, actually, which helped me to just get out of bed. It was things like, these only eat porridge in the mornings, because it fills them up, it really fills them up. So I, tend, I had a tendency to make the porridge the night before, without adding any milk or or um, olive spread or anything like that. Just the cinnamon, the porridge and the water and just boil it till it's thick and then leave it there until the morning. So then all I had to do was come downstairs, add the vanilla essence and a bit of um, almond milk and some olive spread to make it all cool. And the porridge would be ready. But even with that preparation, I still found it hard to really just get out of bed. But now this week, I feel so much better. Yeah, I'm glad they're sitting on my lap, actually, because I've actually got... Careful. I've actually got half my breakfast down my dress. So we won't be, we won't be showing that. So it's a good job they're on my lap. I'm not really a porridge milky person, to be honest. I'm at the best of times, never mind when I'm pregnant, definitely not, don't come near me. So I tend to eat things such as dinners for breakfast, things like pastas, kale, spinach, celery, brown rice, uh, whatever I've had for dinner the night before, I just chop little bits of it, pull it all in one pan, add a bit of brown rice and sweet potato and that's my breakfast. Put a bit of spinach on top and, and a bit of kale, make it crunchy. That's basically what I would eat. Throughout the day, I'm not really that fussed um, when it comes to exactly what. But I always tend to eat quite healthily. I always make sure that what I'm eating is good for me and the baby and these two, three at school. Question, should we ask if they have any questions? Yeah. Would you like to ask us anything? Yeah. Anything at all. We're not shy. Not not once we get going anyway. Once we press record, we're on a roll. Hard to shut me up to be honest. So if you have anything that you'd like to ask, 
um, whether it's coping strategies or eating habits or things to do with the children to get them tired so that I can have a little rest during the day. <coughs> yes, we all know that's hard to fit in after you've had your first. That's sleep. Where does that sleep go? Where does that afternoon nap? Where does that go? It goes into these two. Once you've had one. And it becomes non-existent. But if you have anything you'd like to ask, just please do comment below. And I will be sure to be checking. Getting excited when there's a comment. And answering quite promptly. But for now, we're going to say bye. Say bye. Bye. Bye.